What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey. Let's take a look at the Red Sea Reefer. Um, <clears throat> I am bubble scrubbing and I do have the Radeon lights turned up all the way for the sake of the video. Because the last couple videos the lights have been on uh, bluish mode. And um, just want to show you a better picture of what the tank looks like. Um, the, the objective with this uh, setup at this point moving forward was to keep it a simple reef tank. Um, the glass is dirty too, by the way. I mean, it's it does need to be clean. There's fingerprints and everything all over it. But um, yeah, the, the objective was to keep this tank simple. And um, as you know, I have this USB, or USB, this smart surge protector here. And it's got four power outlets on it and four USB outlets on it, and it connects to your Wi-Fi. Um, unbeknownst to me, <clears throat> you can download a skill for Alexa. Now she's listening to me. Um, and you can control the surge protector via Alexa. So let's give this a shot real quick. Um, as you can see, I do have the bubbles going, which are on a uh, timer. And we'll give Alexa, turn bubbles off. Okay. Now they're off. Alexa, turn bubbles on. Okay. Same thing with the wave maker. Alexa, Turn Wavemaker off. Okay. So it's off. Alexa, turn Wavemaker on. Okay. And I can hear the outlets clicking here. And I'm not gonna do the return pump, but we can do the refugium light. So Alexa, turn refugium on. Okay. Alexa, turn refugium off. Okay. So, yeah, you know, it's really cool. Um, I had no clue um, that this was going to work out the way that it is. You know, so, again, I'm trying to keep this a simple, uh, low-tech tank. And um, now I have Alexa voice controls, which is pretty dang cool, if you ask me, off of, a, you know, a $20 or $30 um, surge protector. Um, kind of to pick up off of our last video, Let's see if I can actually get a decent video of it. But Alexa, turn refugium on. Okay. See if you can see this. I mean, it is everywhere. I've got coralline algae growing everywhere in here. There's coralline algae growing all over the sump. And <clears throat> I think I mentioned this before, but I was concerned about the light bleed into the ATO container. And it's been, it's been good. I do need to fill it up. I'm at just about one and a half gallons. Um, I have been using this a little bit just because it's got the iron in it. So I'm dosing like a cat full, like twice a week or so. So I'm not really using the recommended dosage, um, but um, I am dosing it a little bit. And you can see that there's some gunk there in the Cato Morpho. There's probably some bristle worms. Um, it's actually probably time for me to uh, trim this stuff back, but I kind of wanted to let it grow and just see what happens. But this light has been amazing. And I've got an L bracket up there and it came with this hanging kit and it came with some uh, uh, clamps or uh, kind of hook things. And I took them off to shorten it up and you can see I've got the cable ties here with a zip tie on it because I need, I wanted to bring the light up just a little bit more. So Alexa, turn refugium off. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get a different view, but yeah, the uh, microalgae is definitely, definitely doing its job. Uh, the bubble scrubbing, um, which I'm, I'm not even calling it bubble scrubbing, I'm just oxygenating the water. Could probably put it in this chamber and I would get rid of the bubbles going into the display, but I've got it running from like 9 p.m. to like 3 um, p.m., which typically I'm not here, uh, except for on Saturday and Sunday, so I don't even see it. 
and um, the bubbles are pretty tiny, so I do need to order more pinky floss because I'm changing that out once a day, but I love, love this tray. I've probably mentioned it, mentioned it uh, multiple times before. <clears throat> but the, uh, yeah, the main objective here was to show you guys that, you know, out of curiosity, uh, we have a semi medium tank, medium tech tank at this point. Um, and I'm, I'm in agreement to uh, a couple of you that said you didn't necessarily like this rockscape, and I don't either. But this is what I have for now, um, and I don't have any more rock, and I just don't, there's really no point in me buying any more rock. But um, you know, luckily where the PP15 is, it's it's going toward this rock right here, so it is kind of slowing the flow down because you can see this mushroom here. You know, the flow is hitting the glass and then coming back, and it, it's still attached to the rock there, but it. Uh, it's definitely been pulled out, which is, you know, kind of cool, but there's quite a few mushrooms there. But everything, like I said, is doing uh, doing well. Um, I did slow down the feeding because I'm not have, I don't run an auto feeder anymore. So I did slow down the feeding. I am feeding once a day, but uh, on the weekends I'll feed a frozen, um, frozen food, whatever, if, uh, if it's the LRS Reef Frenzy or um, um, just the typical frozen cubes that I get that I feed the fish. Um, close up of the back wall back there. You can't see it because the bubbles, but this tank has always done well with coralline algae. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, you know, this rock at one point was a lot more purple than it is now, but you know, we got some kind of turf algae or something in here too, but not really a concern of mine. I got a hefty, hefty cleanup crew along with these Estrella starfish, which I pluck out whenever I can. And I've got a ton of these little snails. They they come up to the top of the tank. You can see one there. And, oh, you can't see them there, but there we go. There's one right there in the middle of the camera. But yeah, they come up to the top of the tank. And um, I don't know if uh, some of the snails had spawned. Focus, focus. I don't know if some of the snails had spawned or if um, that was just something that I picked up from reef cleaners whenever I got the last order in. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video. As always, I uh, do appreciate you following along. I know that school's here coming back here pretty soon. So if you're going back to school or you have uh, kids going back to school, I hope they have a great year. Learn as much as you can, try to figure out what you wanna be when you grow up, it's always interesting. But um, yeah, be sure to check me out on Instagram at Pelfrey's Reef. Check out the website at pelfrey.net. I'll catch you on the next one.